This video looks at the contracts for difference options in Great Britain. What is it? Why is it used? And how does it work? The contracts for difference, or CFD as it is more commonly termed, is an option where developers of renewable generation, such as onshore wind farms, offshore wind farms and solar farms, bid into an auction with the aim of winning a 15 year contract that will guarantee a standard rate of payment for the electricity they produce. The CFD is used as a mechanism to ensure that renewable generation projects are built in Great Britain. The costs of developing and building these types of large scale projects are high. Using the CFD auction allows project developers to receive income from the output produced at their site over a 15 year period. Owners of these successful renewable generation sites will sell the electricity produced at their site into the wholesale electricity market. If the price they receive for this electricity is lower than what their CFD auction price was, then the government will top them up by paying the difference between the two prices. This provides the developers with some form of certainty of income, making the projects easier to finance. It also helps the government meet our net zero targets by adding renewable generation to our network. The CFD auction allows developers to bid into the auction with the lowest priced projects awarded a contract. Developers bid in at a price, denoted in pounds per megawatt hour, that they require to make the project financially feasible. When the project is then built and becomes operational, this auction price is marked against outturn wholesale electricity price. In this way, the revenue is capped for the renewable project developer at the auction price that they bid in for. If the wholesale electricity price outturns greater than the auction price, then the developer will pay the government the difference between the two prices. If the outturn wholesale price falls below the auction price, then the government will make up the difference to the developer such that the developer always receives the auction price. While the renewable developer's revenues are capped at this auction price, they do receive some form of protection against price risk. If the wholesale price drops significantly, they will still receive their auction price as the difference between the two prices will be made up by the government. Developers will still be impacted by negative pricing, however. As their revenue is capped at the auction price, the government will only pay them this value. For example, if the auction price cleared at £50 per megawatt hour, and during the 15 year contract, some of the half hourly prices reach minus £49 per megawatt hour, the developer will only make £1 per megawatt hour, i.e. the difference between the two prices. If wholesale prices reach minus £51 per megawatt hour, then the developer will run at a loss of £1 per megawatt hour. The 2022 CFD auction saw roughly 11 gigawatts of renewable generation when 15 year contracts. Offshore wind in particular was successful with 7 gigawatts of offshore wind projects securing contracts at a 2021 price of £45.3 per megawatt hour. Looking back at the initial CFD auction 2015, offshore wind prices have dropped by almost 70%, highlighting the significant advances 
in the development of these projects and the subsequent reduction in costs to build them. Thank you for watching our video. You can also find links to our training courses in the description below. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel.